That's a magnificent stroke. Pendulka can't stop that. Smashed away through extra cover again. Two superb fours for Treskothic. Treskothic looks for a repeat performance and he finds it. Beautifully timed again, that'll race away down the hill towards the tavern stand for four. Harbajan has come in some 20 paces off the boundary. That's Knight, that's uh, what he likes to do, use his feet and smash the ball away on the offside. It was a no ball as well. Lovely stroke. That's just uh, really simple. That's four. The reverse sweep played uh, quite beautifully by Knight. First hit against the spin. And uh, straight down the track, wide of mid-off for four. Sweep in the air and short of uh, Tendulka, who's a long way, a long way out, but that's going to be close. That is going to be very close. Steve Buckner says, uh, let's have a look at this with the third umpire. I think uh, Nick Knight is going to be short of his ground here. That's what the Indians think. There is good fielding by Tendulka to throw to the bowler's end. Hasn't made it. Hasn't made it. There were just eight boundaries. Marcus Truscopic reaches his 50. And uh, he's beginning to enjoy playing here at Lords. He's in good nick. In T Trent Bridge when he got 26 from 25 balls. But he likes Lords. He got 100 here last time. And that's four runs, and that's a shot that Marcus Scott plays very, very well, and he looks for it, so he knows that you've got that. If you can hit it square, there's every chance of a boundary. Magnificent facilities they are. Well, he keeps on playing it. That's his eighth boundary, and Abhijan Singh's got something to think about, Sunil. That's well played, and he's timed that as well. This is going to go very close to the boundary. And Okumble does well. They should uh, well run. That, that's four runs. Not the way I used to like to do it, Sunhill, but uh, it's four more to the score. It's a better shot. This could well be. It is four. First boundary for Nasr Hussain. That's gone a long way. That's well back into the mound stands. First six of the day to Marcus Truscothic. Also serves to bring up the 150 for England. Ah! Got him this time. Finger goes up just to confirm the fact that Marcus Truscothic is out. Caught behind off the bowling of Saurav Ganguly. Thin little edge into the keeper's gloves. Raul Dravid makes no mistake this time. Four runs. That's the opening gambit from uh, Andrew Flintoff today. Just a fraction short. Uh, looks as though he's seeing it pretty well again. It's a reverse sweep. It's well played by Hussain. There's nobody fine at short third man. And that's uh, racing away for four. It's just his second, though. He's gone for it again. And this will run away for four more. This is uh, very good stuff from Hussain. Short arm pull from Flintoff. Pick the bones out of that. That's uh, in the air, but safe. And four more. Not uh, quite out of the middle of the bat, but he's so powerful. What a good catch that is. Flintoff has gone. Mongia takes the catch, diving full length to his right. Got two hands to it. And uh, Flintoff didn't time it particularly. That'll be uh, Hussain's 50. It's the first uh, one-day 50 for Hussain at Lords and his first one-day 50 against India. That's chipped away and that's uh, into space. 
And Tendulka basically gives up on it. Straight to the man behind square there. On the offside as Ferenda Sewag takes uh, a relatively straightforward catch. It was a real wide delivery too. Good piece of work from uh, Raul Dravid. Hussain uh, looks to be gone. No way back from there really, even though standing keeper could have done marginally better with it. Just too far down, the bails are off, Hussein is gone. Well, it was hit very, very firmly. Yuvraj uh, wasn't quite sure what to do with it, try and catch it or just get out of the way of it. Well, that's not the place to bowl to Alex Stewart. You bowl there, he will uh, smash those all day long. Can Irani get back to the danger end? He's trying to be very close Steve Buckner will ask the question again of the third umpire Jeremy Lloyds that is out Collingwood's got hold of that one that's away to that grandstand boundary for four straight up in the air Dravid's called for it he's got the gloves on and he takes the catch Collingwood sacrifices himself but no runs off that delivery. India have fought back brilliantly here. Collingwood goes for six, 267 for seven. That's uh, through the gap at point and away for four. That's through for four. Up to that short grandstand boundary. Despairing dive from Nick Knight. Lorenda Sewag using the pace of the ball from Hoggard, just angling it away through that offside. Lifted away into the onside, not properly timed, but it'll run away from Collingwood for four. That's away to that short boundary as well. Oh, that's a magnificent stroke. Right in Sewag's uh, area. Straight down the ground. That'll rattle into the pavilion fence. <laughs> Lofted high into the next side. That'll go one bounce for four. Oh, that's wonderful. Just giving himself uh, about a foot of room. Oh, what a good shot again. Banged in short from Flintoff, but Ganguly gave himself a little bit of room and uh, even came down the pitch a pace. Gertley's persevering with uh, this Yorker, or attempted Yorkers. Just too much width on that one, the length wasn't too bad. Down the ground. Couple of skips over the boundary. This could run all the way up the hill for four, it will. It's 50 for Sewag. Brings it up with his eighth four. It perhaps wasn't uh, as purely struck as uh, the other seven. But it doesn't matter. That sent uh, the Indian portion of this crowd into raptures. With the field in. And uh, expect plenty of that from Sewag. He's launched him first ball. Over mid on for six. Don't bother having a look. Don't bother seeing how much it's turning. Just hit him for six. On it goes. That's found the gap as well. It's not just the ability to play the shots, it's the ability to find the gaps, almost at will, there comes the 100 for India what a catch, what a superb catch well suddenly things turn round yet again well would you believe it, just at the moment that uh, India seem to be doing absolutely everything right and almost making a mockery of this game one more shot from Sewag and a brilliant catch from Marcus Triscothic. 
Bowl him. England fighting back. Astor Giles with his second wicket. And that was beautifully flighty. A little bit of turn from uh, the rough areas outside the off stump. And that's the end today for Dinesh Mongia. Now that is a good shout, and he's gone. Now that is a massive wicket. Now, Ronnie Arani celebrating the uh, appeal or the shout. I think he enjoyed that moment. I'm not quite sure, and I think uh, he was appealing, and I think the batsman was running, and there's a bit of a collision, but all accidental. But from England's point of view, they don't mind. Sachin Tendolka has gone for one. No ball and four. Well, he's gone for against in the air. What a catch! Now we have seen some catches in this series, but how good is this? Left hand James Kirtley diving through himself at this and it's stuck. What a sensational catch and what a wicket for England. That's a good shot. That's going to go for four and that'll bring up the 150 for India. Nice looking shot that. And that will just start to relieve the pressure. Beautifully controlled. That's been well struck, and well placed too. He's got that over the top, and he's got that well over the top too. Good shot. Thumped away down the ground for four. My word, there was some power in that. Good shot again, that's beautifully played. Beautiful shot away through extra cover. No one can stop that. I was very impressed with this young man when I first saw him in the ICC competition in Kenya a couple of years ago. Another ball of full length, that's the instruction from Hussain, but this time... Yuvaraj gets that single, warm applause from the dressing room and all the Indian fans. He's made it to 50 in his first ever appearance at Lords and his first ever appearance against England, but there's plenty of work still to do for India. That's away, it's beaten them down to the tavern. Nick Knight can't get there, 50 for Raul Dravid this time. Experience head on those shoulders, just three fours in this 50. The Indian fans ecstatic, dressing room but still nervous. That's beaten mid on, and that's away to the boundary in a flash. Wicketkeeper's role is always absolutely vital. Whipped away on the leg side, and that's beaten Trescothic, that's four more. Pressure moves from India to Indi England. The 100 partnership comes up between Raul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh. Trescothic dives in vain. What a fantastic boundary from Dravid just at the right moment for India. The last ball of the 47th over goes for four. Now this parity, India need 18 from 18. Whipped away behind square, that's the boundary that uh, Dravid was out after. 48 overs bowled, 261 for four. India need 11 from the last two overs. Nine from 11. The direct hit was out again, but England miss again. Collingwood the culprit this time. Driven away, it's over the top of mid-off. That's gone over the rope in two bounces. India very nearly home now. Four they need from nine balls. No ball called. And that'll do very nicely with the single. The Indians celebrate.
Terrific unbroken partnership at the end of the innings of 131 between Raul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh. Carries England to, to defeat and India to victory. India home at the end of the 49th over. They've beaten England here at Lords by six wickets.